Yo, what's up guys? It's T-Bag and today we have a fun little video. We're gonna rank all of the sidearms in Battlefield 1 from worst to best. Now, to give you guys a quick update on the Turning Tides DLC video, it's coming. Okay, I know I said it quite a lot, but trust me, it's right around the corner. I'm hoping to release it either Thursday or Friday this week, so be sure to be on the lookout for that video. I know a lot of you guys really want to see it. Don't forget to turn on notifications because the first time people to watch that video We'll get a cookie. Anyway, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So there are a total of 20 different sidearms for the normal classes in Battlefield 1, not counting the Mark 7 revolver from the new Apocalypse DLC. So I'll go over them rather quickly. Let's start with obviously the worst one in the game, the Colibri. I know, I know, Colibri is OP. It's the best gun. It should have the top spot. We all know the jokes and memes by now, but no, it's absolute garbage. It is the worst gun in the game and therefore also the worst sidearm. Surprisingly, while trying to get the footage for this video, I did manage to get a kill. Now on to the second worst sidearm in the game, obviously a lot better than the Colibri which is basically a troll weapon, I'm talking about the Bulldog Revolver. Now before everybody goes apeshit in the comments, remember this is my list, this is my opinion. If you think a certain pistol should be higher up the list, take a deep breath and calmly explain why. Now I find this gun so so bad mainly because of the slow reload animation. Yes it can two shot people up close but for that you have to be like extremely extremely up close and personal and at that point there are a lot of other pistols that can two shot your enemies with other and better features. On to the next pistol, a little bit better but still trash. I'm talking about the Bodeo 1889. The Bodeo is in a lot of ways very similar to the Bulldog Revolver but it has a couple of things that are slightly better such as a higher minimum damage, higher bullet velocity, a little bit faster reload speed and stuff like that. Everything else is pretty much the same, just a teeny tiny bit better than the Bulldog. So in my opinion, it still falls in the trash category. Next up on the list, yet again another revolver, this time the Nagant revolver. The reason why I hate this gun so, so much is again because of the reload speed. I think this gun has the slowest reload animation out of all the weapons in the game. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but it just feels like an eternity when reloading. There are a lot of different revolvers that just reload 6 bullets at once and are therefore way more effective. Another reason why I think this gun is so trash. It, it doesn't even have a two shot kill potential from up close, I mean for a revolver that's pretty bad. It does have a bit higher minimum damage than the other revolvers, plus I think it's the only revolver that has an extra round, a total of 7. Still though, it's trash. Moving on we have the first non revolver type pistol on the list and that is the Repeater Pistola M1912. Overall it's not, it's not a super trash pistol. But again, the reload animation takes forever. Don't get me wrong, the animation itself is probably one of the coolest looking in the whole game. But out of a competitive perspective, it makes the gun useless to deal with multiple enemies. To take out a single enemy, it's not terrible. It's just the whole package that I dislike. Sorry M1912 fans. Next we have the Gasser M1870, this behemoth of a pistol, which by the way is a revolver yet again, has one thing that is pretty neat. The two shot kill potential on this weapon has an insane range for a handgun. Two shot to kill all the way up to 22 meters, that's pretty decent for a handgun, but obviously it has yet again an insane reload animation that takes forever. Besides that you can really wreck some people with it, plus just look at this thing, it looks so damn cool. Now our next gun, it's the C96. I think there is a reason why I never see people playing with it. It's just bad, there are so many better options to choose from, especially since this is a medic only pistol. Like why would you choose the Mauser C96 other than the fact that it's such an iconic gun? For the people who don't know by the way, the C96 is the pistol that inspired Han Solo's blaster from Star Wars. But yeah, not too fond of this pistol, let's move on. Next up, the Howder pistol. This is actually a pretty interesting gun. If you can play it to its strength, it has one of the fastest time to kill out of all the pistols in the game. From close range you can two shot people and this thing can fire so quickly it's insane. It also has the best hip fire accuracy out of all the pistols which you know sounds pretty cool but it's not that important if you're already using it from up close since that's the only distance you would use it for. Farther distances with this gun is absolute trash that's why it's not higher up on the list not to mention that it only has four bullets to fire. It does have a very quick reload animation and if you take out this gun you sometimes get to see this cool little spinning animation. 
Moving on, we have the number three revolver. Finally, a revolver that isn't pure trash. This gun actually is pretty good. It's yet again a two shot kill from up close, like some of the other revolvers. But the main thing that makes the number three revolver better than the previous revolvers is that when you reload, you load in six bullets at once. So that just saves so much time and actually makes this gun pretty viable against multiple enemies and in tight situations. Still, from further range, it's not a gun you would use, obviously, but still, it has a lot of things going for it, and the number 3 revolver is an all-kit weapon, so again, it's a huge plus. Now, finally, we are getting to actual good pistols in Battlefield 1. The MLE 1903 is next up on the list. I don't really know what to tell you about this gun. It's pretty average, it has a decent rate of fire, the tactical reload is pretty fast. If your trigger finger is up to part, you should have no problems killing people from up close. The empty reload, however, is pretty lengthy, so try to keep one round in the chamber when reloading. All in all, it's a decent sidearm, but you'd be surprised how many better sidearms there are in this game. Such as the P08. In a lot of ways, very similar to the MLE 1903, but a bigger magazine with one extra round, which makes it 8 in total plus 1 in the chamber, and more importantly, a way faster reload animation. And that goes for the tactical reload animation as well as the empty reload animation. Still not that impressive, there are better options. Like the Frommer stuff, yes it has one round less in the magazine, and yes it does a little bit less damage, but it's still a 4 shot kill up close, like the PO8, but it fires so much faster. It also has a faster reloading animation for both the empty and the tactical reload, but the rate of fire is what makes this tiny gun a beast. If you have a decent or a good trigger finger, you can melt people left, right and center. If you don't, then well, these next couple of weapons aren't really for you. The Modelo 1915, pretty much the exact same as the Frommer Stop, but it has an extra round in a magazine and for me, that makes it a tiny bit better. It does have a slightly slower reloading animation than the Frommer Stop, but only slightly, it's pretty much nothing. And that's why I would choose the Modelo 1915 over the Frommer Stop. I mean, that extra bullet could be the difference between you losing a firefight and winning one. A gun that's yet again a tiny bit better than the Modelo 1915 is a gun that I never use and after this video I'm gonna use it a whole lot more. It's the Tashen Pistola M1914. This thing is yet again a spam fire weapon but it has an even faster reloading animation. But the cool thing is about this reload animation is that both the tactical and the empty reloads are insanely fast. Probably the fastest out of all these sidearms it's insane, you will see it in the footage in the background how crazy this gun is. It's like the From a Stop and Modelo 1915 on steroids, it's, it's just crazy. Guys, be sure to give this gun a try, it's insane. It's a medic only weapon I believe, so keep that in mind. And now the king out of all the spam fire pistols, in my opinion, the 1903 Hammerless. Again, it is very similar to the other pistol I mentioned before, but you guessed it, it has an even faster reloading animation. 1.16 seconds for an empty reload, that's just crazy, just a little bit above one second. It is slower on the empty reload, so this could just be, you know, personal preference, but for me, because most of the time I have a tactical reload, this pistol takes the cake out of all the previous ones, it's still not the best, we are very close to the best sidearm in Battlefield 1, according to me. Next up on the list, this one is really just my personal taste, it's the C93. It has a 9 round mag, fast rate of fire, fast tactical reload animation, empty reload not so much compared to the spam fire pistols I just mentioned, but still pretty fast overall. And I don't know, I, I just love this gun, I always perform well with it, some people don't really like it, but I do, for some reason it feels very very accurate, I think it has pretty much zero side to side recoil, so yeah, this thing is just, it's just my personal taste, I love it. Now a totally different pistol than the others, the Mars Automatic, for a long time I really thought this was the best sidearm in the whole game, because of my playstyle, for the people who don't know, this is a scout only weapon, and it's a perfect finishing sidearm. If you hit your enemy one time with your bolt action rifle, most of the time, just one tap them with the Mars and you got the kill. Even on its own, the Mars is a 3 shot kill up close with a max damage of 40 and a 2 shot kill if you mix in a headshot. From farther ranges, it's still a 5 shot kill with its insane minimum damage of 23 beyond 28 meters. And also it has an 11 round magazine or 10 rounds plus 1 in the chamber. So this will always be my go-to sidearm for the scout class. The next sidearm, the third best pistol in Battlefield 1, in my opinion, the Obrest pistol. This gun on its own could be your primary 
This is the only gun that I know of that can do 100 damage from up close. This is literally better than trying to melee kill your opponent. It has a one shot kill potential with just a body shot. It's still a two shot kill up to 32 meters. And basically the reason why it's so powerful is because in essence it is a cut down version of the Mosin Nagant Bolt Action Rifle. So yeah, this thing is a beast. I've seen so many clips of this gun being used like crazy and people pulling up some crazy clips. I just love it. Obviously, it's still practically a bolt action gun, so the rate of fire is very, very slow, you know, because of the bolt action animation. But like I said, it's a skill cannon and in the right hands, it's very, very deadly. Now, for the second best pistol in Battlefield 1, we have the Auto Revolver. Again, this might be a personal thing, but I absolutely love this gun. Two shot kill up close. Fast firing rate and it loads in all 6 bullets at once, which is a huge deal as we know by now for the revolver class. It is sadly for the medic class only, so whenever I play the medic class this is my go to sidearm. It's basically a beefed up number 3 revolver with better accuracy and a higher rate of fire. This thing has a time to kill in CQB, it's not even funny anymore. But now guys, the moment we have all been waiting for, the best pistol in the game is... The M1911, surprise surprise. I think most of you would agree with me that this pistol does everything right. It has a max damage of 35, so that means a 3 shot kill up close. It has a decent firing rate, so the time to kill is pretty fast. 7 rounds plus 1 in the chamber. Pretty fast reload, like I said it isn't the best in a specific field. But it has very good traits all around and that makes it an all in all best sidearm in Battlefield 1. Guys, that's about it for the video. Let me know down in the comments if you agree with me or if you'd alter the list a little bit. Slap a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and i see you guys next time.